Okay, I already did a long unpowered walkthrough on this uh, recent eBay um, buy, this SBE SB1LA. Um, not going to get too in depth in it because I tried to do that with the long winded walkthrough. But basically, a sweep tube amplifier using six six MH6s which is like a high powered version of the 6LQ6 um, all finals no drivers a um, little bit weird configuration this amp is made in 1962 and 63 if I think I, I remember right um, back when Johnson and all of them were making big boat anchors SBE who was the same guy that started Gonset back then um, started SBE and they wanted to make a you know well-built amp but downsize it uh, from the big old giant you know boat anchors um, so they did downsize this as, as you can see it's a not a great big boat anchor type amp it's very heavy though um, I'm surprisingly heavy when you pick it up it's kind of built like a boat anchor even the covers and all that are heavy and you know this don't even want to come off of here come on come on I guess I gotta sit the camera down do, do, do. there we go takes two hands to handle this um not a boat anchor heavy duty amp though and um that's the 6 MH6's black top. I'm sorry, 6 MJ6's black top. Um, all finals. Um, high voltage transformer, low voltage transformer, um, power supply cap bank. Um, this only has 15 through 80 meters, even though a little bit of tweaking. Um, it will work on uh, 10 meters uh, with a little tweaking just doesn't have a um, band selection for it so if you go on 15 you can do um, 15 or 10 meters the way this one is set up um, you got your filament which is the main power but it, or the low power lights up the filaments and then this is weird it's you know marked power switch but it's marked high and low basically it's a standby switch on low uh, the high voltage transformer has no high voltage going to it and also you can't key the relay on low you know like in standby on high it uh, applies the high voltage to the um, high voltage transformer and it empowers the relay to be able to key you know with a foot switch now um, and then tune and operate is actually uh, really high low um, this is uh, Tetro amp, I call it turbo charge. Um, the drive goes into the grid and it's got power on the screen and uh, um, tune operate, tune the low side puts um, a lower power or lower voltage on the screen and operate puts a higher voltage or full power on the screen. Let's see if we can try turning it around. I didn't try that earlier. And on the back, um, regular SO239 for antenna but the driver or the radio coming in it uses a little RCA jack like that so I ended up buying an adapter off eBay again so I could use a regular uh, coax on on the driver the power plug is a 9 pin opto fuse to bias uh, takes this thing from really high to really low so you can you know use this as a, um, a really swinging amp you know uh, class C or you can go to uh, deep class AB uh, with it by adjusting the bias on it and then that there is another RCA jack and that's not factory um, I put that in there and tried to make it look like factory but that's just another um, RCA jack that goes to key it up so you actually uh, can key it up with a radio that grounds the um, 12 volts for the key in relay or use a foot switch and ground it on a foot switch um, from the factory it's set up for the uh, SBE radios of the time the 33 and 34 
um, to have 10 volts coming from the radio into this to key it up. Uh, but most modern uh, radios and, and transceivers uh, don't do that. They ground it now. So I did a little bit of rewiring um, to make it so you ground the uh, keying circuit. And I also took off the dangerous 120 volts, uh, which this also ran that was keyed, the negative 120 for the bias. I did that so a relay uh, grounds that bias, so no dangerous 100 and negative 120 coming out of it. So that's about it. I guess enough talking. I think we're plugged in. So we're going to let that warm up a little bit. Um, another funny thing that I didn't mention in a long-winded video, this amp has no fan. You know, it's got a, a baffled opening at the bottom cover and baffles on the top, so I guess it does get some um, air circulation. But no fan, it probably could benefit for you know, somebody putting an uh, external fan underneath or on top to get some more airflow. However, with the bias, and if you adjust it right and you don't try to kill this little thing, um, it runs fairly cool for a six sweep tube um, linear amplifier. Um, one other thing, um, on that long winded thing I was talking about the high voltage transformer, it's a dual winding and they use dual voltage doublers for it and it's like why do they do that uh, my best guesstimate is because um, this is a, a well built amp I don't think it was cost on this one I think it was size and weight if you go to a, um, a full wave transformer it's got to be bigger because it's going to be um, um, more volts and the more volts you wind on the transformer, the bigger it's got to be because you got more, more and more windings on it. And um, it's got to be a bigger size than a smaller transformer with lower volts. So let's say you got two 500 watt transformer and one is 500 volts at one amp to get your 500 watts and the other is 250 volts at two amps. So the 250 volt at 2 amp one would not only be cheaper, it would be a smaller size um, and a little bit more lightweight. So I think in this amp, because it's so compact, you know, they're trying to not make it a boat anchor. I think they used a even smaller transformer. Um, let's say for the 500 watts, they used maybe a 150 volt. And what would make that a 500 watt? Like 3 amps, something like that. I didn't do the math, and I used to be good at math in my head, but I think you get the picture. Anyway, um, we got the little uh, drive coming in on this watt meter. 200 watt scale on average. So we did it in about 30. Audio, audio. Talking to about 100 going into this amp. And over here, we got the um, output of the amp. It looked like it was on peak on the 2KW scale. So we're going to key them both down. Hopefully, everything's still tuned up. Audio, audio. Audio, audio. It's talking about four. Actually, I had it tuned up to about five. Audio, audio. About to 450 now. Probably could tweak it and get a few more watts, you know, with the cover on and off and moving it around and stuff. Uh, but anyway, on peak. Audio, 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 audio. About 750. Audio, audio. In about 75 RMS going into it now. Audio, audio, audio. Another little quirk about this amp though, before I let it go, um, it uses a bank of resistors on the input. It's not really a tuned input, it swamps the um, input re resistors. 
and that kind of works but it's not ideal um, you know for harmonics and the load changing and all that ideal would be to have a uh, tuned input but anyway um, because it swamps uses swamping resistors on the input transistor um, drivers or radios or transceivers don't really like that uh, going into a tube amplifier with just swamping resistors on it um, tube using a tube um, driver or a tube transceiver they would handle that a lot better with a tube going into a tube with that swamping uh, network instead of a tune input so that's one thing I don't like about it but I kind of like this little amp a lot it's cute it's small uh, even though it's heavy uh, it's clean it doesn't run the voltage you know super high uh, and make it dirty um, it's got the swamping resistors on the input instead of tune but it, at least it's got something you know some amps don't have anything on the input so you know I like this amp you know it got the vario in the back and um, it's um, pretty uh, so I think I'm gonna hold on to this bad boy unless somebody makes me an offer I can't refuse little basically a 500 watt RMS no driver, um, high drive, um, SBE from the same one that make the uh, later they went from amateur radio to made um, CB radios. Um, all about the money, right? Um, and then they went out of business. But SBE made some premium CB radios during the time when they went out, and I think this is a um, um, a pretty premium. Um, linear amplifier especially for a sweet tube amplifier you aren't gonna find too many sweet tube amplifiers like clean like this or made like this even some am ham amplifiers like uh, Dentron and um, who is that amp supply I think you know uh, quite a few made a few four sweet tube amplifiers you know around this size but they I don't think they were made like this so I kind of like this guy anyway that's going to be it for this SBE SB1 LA amplifier bye